afternoon. Good afternoon to everybody. We are now on the Apprentice Sunday, ordinary time. And uh, we are also celebrating our seventh anniversary. Our most presider this afternoon is Father Ian Cole in Please rise and join the choir in singing our entrance hymns.
those who love you, good things which I can see. Feel our hearts we pray to the water, to the love in all things and above all things. We may have your promises, we serve as our human desire. For our Lord Jesus Christ, through our Son, we serve to you, in you we say, love forever and ever. Amen. Because Jeremiah speaks the truth of God, it becomes a man of contradiction. He is persecuted by the leaders who only listen to what they want to hear. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In those days, the prince said to the king, he is never like his soldiers who are left in the city. And all the people, by speaking such things to them, he is not interested in the welfare of the people in the world. For he could nothing with them. The water in the cistern, only that. And Jeremiah sunk into the mud. Then a court official went from the palace and said, Very deep, this may have been told in all you have done to the prophet Jeremiah. Casting him into the cistern, he will die on the spot, for there is no more food in the city. Then the king ordered Abimelech the Pushite to stay three men along with him. And throughout the rapture out of the cistern before he died. The word of the Lord. Thank you to God. Lord, come to my aid. Lord, come to my aid. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stood toward me. Lord, come to my aid. The Lord heard my cry. He threw me out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud of the swamp. He set my feet upon a crag. He made firm my steps. Lord, come to my aid. And he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many shall look on in awe and trust in the Lord. Lord, come to my mind. Though I am afflicted in the earth, yet the Lord is me. You are my help and my deliverer. Oh my God, hold not back. Lord, come to my aid. And Christians must always look up to the example of Jesus in this trial to be faithful to God in enduring to the cross. Jesus is glorified by the Father. The happiness that awaits should inspire us not to abandon the struggle. The second lady. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and the perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy that lay before you, endure the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his seat at the height of the throne of God. Consider how endured such opposition from sinners, in order that you may not grow weary.
and goes hard. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Fearless, rooted in our faith in the Lord. 
Let me start. I will take my reflection from Noble Menendo in the Wente by St. John Paul II. He wrote this apostolic letter in 2000. And he said, Spiritual communion. To make the church the home and the school communion. That this great challenge facing us in the millennium which is now begin if we wish to build to God's plan and to respond to the world's deepest yearnings. What is our deepest yearning? First, we want to have a sense of belongingness. And we can only have a real, true oneness if we practice what we call the spirituality of communion. Spirituality of communion is not simply having activities that would make us one, but if we look closely at it, it is rooted in the relationship among the unity of the Trinity. Relationship, which means relationship also from among the members of the church, from among the members of the community, from among the members of the family. In today's gospel, Jesus highlighted, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. Back in towards the end, seemingly it is contradictory, contradictory when the Lord said, From now on, a household of five will be divided. There is a paradox between the, word, uh, the, the approach of Jesus by saying, I am the fire. And at the same time, it will cause division. It is important for us to understand the context of today's gospel and I will try to relate it to the theme of this celebration. In areas where in timber or other plants or trees used uh, to build fire is scars, people use animal dung. Yung bubu ng mahay. And then, they are going to place salt on it so that when you try to uh, burn it, it would give fire. When Jesus said, I have come to set the earth on fire, He is in Himself the catalyst of change that would impel us also to change for others. How is this practical in our day-to-day -day lives? To become fire means in our day-to-day -day lives to, serve it, to, to survive, to be sustained. Imagine there's no sun. Walang mabubuhay sa atin. Fire brings life. For Jesus, it is, it is not simply life, but a life. Oh, it is not simply fire, but a fire that disturbs. And the first to be disturbed is our sense of comfort zone. That's why the fire that, is Jesus, that Jesus is giving us is a passionate fire. Come to think of it. Why oftentimes are we criticized? Especially the Pauline Church. Bakit kayo? lang yung magsayaw kung kayo'y nagtarasal. Bakit nga ba? Sa inyong nasi ministry, bakit itinadaan ninyo sa sayaw ang inyong dasal? Kasi, bato, sagot. Ano yun? Tala ako sa klase, ganun ako magklase. Ha? Bato, sagot. Bakit ninyo nadaan sa sayaw ang inyong dasal. Ha? Sige kapatid, kasi passion, commitment, one of the ways of praising God. Sige pa. Kunti pa lang yung pawis ko. Sige pa. In the expression of that, we're full 
tulong ni your food fever that is a passion that is a fire. Pero kay Cloud, hindi lamang mo sa sayaw, hindi lamang mo sa kanta. Pag ko sinawa our own way of life. Let it be good, Brother Manches. Human love is always selfish love. But if the love you are surrendered to is rooted in the fire of the love of the Lord, then I tell you that love that you have may forever. Pero kung yung pagmamahalan ninyo, kapatid, is plain and simple human, walang forever sa inyo. Ano yung mga mamalas sa atin sa buong kalawa, pasawa kayo sa mukha ng isa. is rooted in the fire of love of the Lord. Kung ngayon, mewang ni Mrs. 24, mabalita mo yan, mahal mo pa niyan. Amen? Hindi ko na dala yung libro, naliwag ko lang. I'd like to recommend a book, I think it was mentioned also yung Christ, by Mary Jo Silayan. The title is Heal. Heal, the title. It's a story Ano yung bakawal? Who struggled? Ang ganda ng story. Hindi ko lang nadala ang libro. Pero naiwan ko dun sa bago sa palabala. But I'd like to encourage you. Look at po. Wala na sa St. Paul's bookstore. Chinag ko eh. Kaya sabi ko maglagay kayo ng bago sa supply. But now, kidding aside, it's really a good book. The struggle of a couple. The struggle that we have as Christians. Even in ministries. Come to think of it. Sa music ministry. Ilang beses kayong mag-away. Mali yung tono mo eh. Mas mali ka! O pareho kayong mali. Sa dance, bakit sa kaliwa ka pumunta dapat sa kanan? Eh pwede naman kanan, bakit ka pa ako maliwa? <laughs> Along the way, in my experience as a, a, a priest, no, doing marital counseling, as a counselor, I think I've shared this sa ibang grupo, Meron nag-away, mag-asawa, nang dahil lang sa kulay ng pobre kama at sa kulay ng protina. Would you believe that? That was a time na, sorry ha, I'm studying now in Lasal, but I finished my theology in Ateneo. Yung pobre kama, yung curtain blue. Sabi ni Mrs., pati ba naman sa pobre kama at sa kurtina, ipagkangalandakan mo, talo kami. Nung nilapit sa akin to, to handle that. Sabi ko, what is happening with you? But that is simply the tip of the iceberg. To the point that they even thought, I handled that case, they even thought of separating. They even thought of, you know, ano ito kaninang pinapanood kong kanta ni Moira? Yung paalam, patawad paalam, Sabi ko, sakit pala ng lyrics, ano? Buti na lang, nagpari na ako. <laughs> Pero, eh, tapos may isang comment doon. We have no problem. We were really happy together. Pero bakit kailangang iwan namin ng isa? Isa. Sagos! Because your love is not rooted in the fire of the love of the Lord. As simple as that. Ulitin ko, human love is always selfish. That is why our love for one another must always be rooted in the fire of the Lord. Allow the Lord to become the focal point of your relationship. Let me continue. A spirituality union in the case of all the heart's contemplation, the mystery of the Trinity, dwelling in us. In whose light, we must also be able to see the shining face of the brothers and sisters around us. A spirituality of communion also means the ability to think of our brothers and sisters in faith within the profound unity of the mystical body and therefore as those who are part of me. I suppose this is quite easy. When your children is doing well in their studies, When your children 
finish college and have their degrees, when they pass the board, the bar exam, and so on, you're very proud. Siya ay parte ng aking buhay. He or she is part of me. It is easy because these are achievements. But what about if your son or your daughter, sabi na nating nagiging sakit sa ulo? Seven years tinapos yung college. Tatlong beses nang nagkuha ng board exam. Wala pa rin. Bakit naman hindi nakapasa? Kaya nagre-review yung kaklase. Nang nightlife siya. Sakit sa ulo. Will you disown that member of the family because of his or her seeming failure? What about a friend? What about if this friend is or committed something wrong? Will we still associate with the person? Is communion only in good things? What about? If another way to yung una o okay lang, positive na niyaya madale, kaya mo tanggapin. But what about as per? Kilala ni mo ka pamilya mo kasi dami ni mga bote. Kilala ni mo ka pamilya mo kasi maayos ang buhay. But what about on the opposite side? Dami niyang palpak, and dami niyang lokohan, and dami niyang pagkakamali. Will you still accept the person? This is the words of Novo Milenio in the Wind. A spirituality of communions, communion finally means to know how to make room for our brothers and sisters bearing each other's burdens and resisting the selfish temptations which constantly beset us and provoke competition, carrierism, distrust, and jealousy. The words of St. Paul are torn in the flesh. Gawin kong praktika. Yung anak mong saksaks. Yung anak mong naging pasaway. Yung asawa mong sakit sa ulo. Will you still consider that person part of yourself. Bapa to ko lang. Did Jesus consider Peter a failure? Yes or no? Yes or no? Why? Anong ginawa ng Pedro? Yes, he denied Jesus. He has so many mistakes. But what was his point of resilience? Yes, he believed. He accepted his mistakes. Did Jesus condemn Judas? No. But what happened to Judas? Was he sorry for his mistakes? Yes or no? Even the church could not determine either or. That's why even until now, the church has never proclaimed anyone in hell. Thanks be to God, hindi pa tayo kasama. May pag-asa pa tayo. Diba? Why? Because the church is always rooted in the mind of Christ. That is to always give us a chance. That is to always give us an opportunity to change, to become better. How is this related to being fearless? To be fearless means first to be able to confront your own limitations and your own shortcomings and to be able to surrender it to the Lord. It is only in acknowledging our mistakes and our limitations that the grace of God can fill in into our lives that despite our being sinful, here you are singing for the Lord, here you are dancing for the Lord. Because everything is grace. 
to be fearless means to recognize kapatid kulang ka at ang Diyos ang magpupuno sa iyo kilalanin mo ang kulang mo that is intra-personal approach to being fearless second from intra to extra what about if do those you are journeying with their own limitations and shortcomings and the words I used earlier from St. Paul a thorn in the flesh how are you going to be fearless in relation to others balikan ko being fire kapag ang animal tang ay nilagyan ng salt mas mahaba yung fire pero yung Soul na naawin at wala nang lasa. Ito in the gospel is nasabing tasteless, itatapo na. Okay. Now, if you are being purified by this fire, masakit. Diba? Masakit. Kasi kinilala mo ang limitasyon mo, tanggapin maging yung iba kinikilala mo ang limitasyon mo na hindi ko basta-basta patatanggap kasi may limitasyon ang taong ito. Kasi hindi lamang limitasyon kasi ang taong ito nakasakit sa akin. And then what are you going to do? It is to be fearless to confront the person. Spirituality of communion can only happen when we have that impetus to address the issue head on in a manner that is that befits an apostle, a follower of Christ. Come to think of it, for couples, for those in the relationship, kapag nag-away kayo at pinusapan nyo sa malumanan na paraan, I tell you, pag naging okay kayo, you would become sweeter. Am I right or am I correct? I should no, pindaan ang uyan. <laughs> diba? Mas sweet kayo. After yung mag-away, mas sweet kayo. Mag-ingat-ingat lang. Baka sobra kayong sweet, bigla kayong lumiko o delikado. Sa ako nakuha yung phrase na yan, sa kinounseling ko rin. Kasi magpapakasal, hindi ko tinanggap. Bakit? Diba? Father Buntis na po ako. Bakit hindi ko pinasal? Eh, marriage is sacrament of love. If the reason is buntis, hindi dahil yun nagmamahalan sila. And I do not question the love. I question the real motivation. Kaya kapatid kong mulis, okay, lumapit sa akin, sabi sabihin mong pakasal. Unless sabihin mong mahalan kami. Maaga ka lang nagbumuha yung mamahalan. Ikakasal ko kayo. Yung condition. Ilang member na ng face yung pinasal ko? Parang tatlo na yata o apat. Hindi ba nangyayari? Lahat na sinabi ko na babagoy ko yung end part eh. Instead of saying the groom in office is the bride, sabi ko the priest in office is the bride. Yeah. <laughs> Andito si Lee. Si Lee yung huling kinasal ko. So rather lay na dyan. Ay, ako. Buti na lang hindi ko nalita. <laughs> Kapag din, we continue uh, at we encapsulize this. To be fearless means first to be able to confront your issues in life. Especially your own limitations. My point is this. What hinders us from truly, truly offering our all, our best to the Lord is that little voice at the back of our head saying, e kulang ka palagi. But the truth is no. The Lord has offered His life for you and therefore you are full. The grace of God fill in your limitations. Now that you've experienced the goodness of the Lord, it teaches you to one thing. It impels us to act. That is, to share the goodness you experience to the person next. And that person could simply be your own family members. Let's start with the family, the domestic church. Kasi if the family is nakita, do not expect kahit mag-feast ka, kahit mag-serve yam ka, kahit mag-copos for Christ ka, 
kahit mag YFL, FFL, ano pa ibang? Ano mong grupo papasokan mo kapatid? If in the family there is something quite wrong, if the domestic church is quite problematic, you will have problems. Hindi ko sa sabi pag may issue ko sa family, hindi ka na pwedeng mag-serve. Hindi. I know ba family saan nagsimula? Sa bunso na. Yeah. The bunso man up was fearless to tell the parents, mga pa, kaya sa'yo siguro nagpaka-problema kasi hindi na kayo nagdasal. They started to pray. And they started to pray. They started to go to Mass together. And then they started to go to Mass together. And they started also to open up to one another. That is how the grace of God works in us. When you encounter difficulties and struggles, kapatid, that's perfectly normal. Because the fire of the Lord would always disturb us. In whatever you do, we will always be disturbed. But it is grace. Why? Kahit sa ministry ni if you're too comfortable with your ministry, allow the Lord to disturb you. Or, be the one to disturb others. Be the one to disturb others. You're even empowered to disturb us, priests. Nagkita niyo naka transport na ako, oh, Father. Parang, uh, iba yung service mo ngayon. Diba? You even have the right to disturb us. Nawala na ako ng service. Nawala na si Casper. Uh, kaya, commute ko lang. Pero, uh, sabi nga ni Brother Pogs, we pray to the Lord. Uh, Bibigyan nyo ng service. I am officially, by the way, I am officially transferred to Makati. And I call it Makating sa Gigilid. Kaya sabi lang ako sa gilid doon, ang hindi sa Makati. <laughs> sabi ko ito ba yung bagong Sodom and Gomorrah? Malamig sa silang. I wonder kung saan tayo ngayon kasi may hindi din. Sana hindi Sodom and Gomorrah. To continue kapatid, as we continue, we thank the Lord for disturbing us in our comfort zones. Again, I would reiterate, do not settle on what you have. Always strive for more. But more must always be rooted in the Lord. The fire of the Lord impels us to act because our faith that is always secured or in its comfort zone is not going to grow. Allow the Lord to disturb us. God bless.
we, uh, we pay for corporates that our, man, that our managers be deeply rooted and established in love. Help us always to look for the good in our spouse every day and overlook every single flaws. Help us stay committed to one another and keep us both from temptation. Guide our future to glorify you and keep us healthy so we can work for them. When we disagree, help us to approach one another with humility and respect. The men are to be done. Deepen our communication and friendship so our relationship is stronger than ever. Help us guide our children and our entire family closer to you its day. May we put you first and in turn see our love. We pray. Lord, give us wisdom and strength. Let the member of this is meritorious in this mystery. We always choose to pursue Christ above all. And remain fearless in his steadfast love, we pray. Lord, give us wisdom and strength. That through you, Father, we lay the victory of the peace that sent us now. We come to rest joyfully in the center of God's will, to press in the confidence that God is with us and be a bearer of your light and peace. Sincere, so impassion our hearts to share you to those who need to value you, especially those who are lost and hurt. We pray for a grace that will compel us to love more and give more until we overflow and share it to others' people. May we be able to love us, accept, and continue to pursue to be Jesus. We pray. Lord, give us wisdom and That all people who never wavered in supporting the children of God, may God provide them with more patience and understanding. We pray that kids who go out into the world without fear, may God bless them with power and wisdom, and that all mothers and fathers who support and protect the young ones, may God bless them with the strength to carry on. We pray. Lord, give us wisdom and strength. That the dance ministry may build and maintain their strong relationship with each other, and continue to bless and worship God with their God-given talents. We pray. Lord, give us wisdom and strength. For the worship ministry, may God grant us serenity and a pure heart and, in, and mind in leading the congregation to worship. We pray that the enemy will not lure them into pride and set a difference from worship and appear to be performing. May we focus on the desire to proclaim your and the evangelizers of Christ. We pray. Lord, give us wisdom and strength. That God may continue to inflame our hearts with His unconditional love to serve Him as intercessors for our brothers and sisters. That God will send us more available servants willing to be molded and be trained for the works in His vineyard. And that God may shower more blessings to those families we join and welcome the word of God in their homes through the, our Bible study. We pray. Lord, give us wisdom and strength. That servants of the feast as and thus my liturgy ministry may influence the many to be more reflective of God's word and be able to shine Christ's divine light to the world to inspire and set us good example of Christ's peace and love. We pray. Lord, give us wisdom and That by our grace, O oh Lord, we at the world we hear you speak and share your unfailing love to our brothers and sisters who need every day. That we never forget to give our sweetest smile to every person knowing that you are in them. We pray. Lord, give us wisdom and But may God bless us, the creative ministry with other key resources and creativity and bless the works of our hands and inspire others to join the ministries. Mission to promote cultural understanding, we pray. Lord, we bless us, That the feast SMDAS media ministry 
who painstakingly conceptualized, prepared, and executed all visual materials needed for this event. May we, may we all be reminded to commit our talents, expertise, and hearts in serving the Lord and His people. Be Lord, give us a wisdom. Hear our petitions, Father, and bless us with more men and do for go to personal needs to pursue the interest of your kingdom. Thanks, broken. It was the 
Muslim. Yes, all of you and eat together. For example, we should be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you who drink from it. For this is the chalice of the blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Thank you. 
mutually bound for peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Holy
Let us pray. We partakers of Christ through the sacraments. We humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that confirm to this to his image and earth. We be married also to be scholars in heaven. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We encourage everyone to please stay after the loss and join us in celebrating our Christmas anniversary. But for those who would leave but wish to give a lot of offering, we have a box at the lobby or you may have it to our box. Thank you. 